He's trying to make a comeback in this game. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now the Eagles are going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Jordan Love ready on first down here. That is incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. A good pick up there, 22. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, it's Love. He completes it to Jones. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, Parker. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that'll make it second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Love, they go play action now. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board instead. A long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. He's going to rifle one deep left side. 